I'm Britta keller Arndt, the Senior Collection Manager here at the Chicago History Museum. Today what I'm going to do is feature a couple of different objects. They all came to the museum at different times. Some were donated and some were purchased by the museum. But together, they tell the story of a man who lived in Chicago nearly 160 years ago. Born in New York in 1837, Elmer Ellsworth eventually moved to Chicago to study law and earn a living. He then moved to Springfield to work as a clerk in Abraham Lincoln's law office, where the two became friends. And when the president-elect headed to Washington, Ellsworth followed. During Ellsworth's time in Illinois, he served as a commander of the National Guard Cadets, which he renamed the Chicago Zouave Cadets. As a student, he had always admired the Zouave, the Algerian troops who fought under the French army in North Africa. On May 24, 1861, Ellsworth and his men were in Alexandria, Virginia, assisting with the occupation of the city. He took some of them into the Marshall House Inn, as they had spotted a very large Confederate flag flying from the roof. Ellsworth climbed the stairs, tore down the flag, and as he was heading back downstairs, James Jackson, the innkeeper, shot and killed him. One of Ellsworth's men, Francis Brownell, fatally shot Jackson in retaliation. The Union mourned this tragic loss, and Remember Ellsworth became a rallying cry. His name and face would end up on stationery, sheet music, and even more common household items like this picture. So this picture was made by a very small company and um, you could purchase it just unpainted or you could purchase it painted. Now this one that came to the museum was modified and it looks like somebody had added a present to my father here. We also, in our collection, have Elmer Ellsworth's sword. Now, when he was traveling with the Chicago Zoo of Cadets, he was, you know, he was presented with swords as he was traveling around the country. So this is just one of them. And, and finally, we have this wreath that was made by Mary Todd Lincoln and was placed on his casket after his death. 